Hello everybody, we are back here on Way of the Hunter. It's been a little while since we've been on this game. I believe the last time that we jumped on here was to check out the brown bear on the development branch of the game. But today we are back on the main game, the uh, current live patch, and I decided that it would be fun to go out to the Adonk Expanse for the very first time and try to get ourselves a trophy chamois. I've really been curious what the big chamois are going to look like because I haven't really been paying attention to like screenshots posted by the community because I wanted to be kind of surprised on a lot of these species that I haven't got the five star for and uh, well hopefully today we will get to see a four or five star chamois uh, because this will be the first time that we will have gone out and uh, started searching this uh, private land of the Adonk Expanse. I know some of you have probably been curious why I haven't been posting a ton of Way of the Hunter content recently, and the primary reason is because I'm just waiting for some new content. And uh, very soon we will be getting a brand new rifle as well as the brown bears, so I decided now is a good time to get back into it. Primarily I've been waiting for rares to be added to the game as I do think that that is going to bring a ton of variety to the hunts and make it so there's more to search for than just five stars because at this point a lot of people already know how to get five stars relatively easily and uh, if you manage your herds properly you can get lots of five star trophies and that has kind of drove me away from playing it recently just waiting for something more to search for during the hunts, like the rares that we will eventually be getting. And whenever rares get added to this game, you guys can be assured that I will be playing this game a ton because that is going to add, like I said, so much variety and replayability. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? The very first chamois we lay eyes on is a five star. Well, this has immediately turned exciting. I am very, very happy to be taking one of these down. This is the first time that I've been to this area, as you guys can see. This is crazy. Of course, we would be greeted by something wild like this in the Adonk Expanse. I had a feeling that this would be where the good chamois would be hiding, and we were definitely right there. Now, let's uh, try to line up on it, as uh, we definitely don't want to wait too long and have it walk away, because uh, they're definitely moving around quite a bit. But I also don't want to take a bad shot either, so... Let's try to find... I think it's that one right there. Honestly, I think we can probably end up making this shot if we're uh, careful enough. Let's just make sure we have the right rifle. Don't want to be using the 300 on them. But uh, that's our guy right there. Kind of in the middle between the others. So that's a little unfortunate, but I think we can still make this shot provided it will go broadside. I don't necessarily want to take a shot where it's uh, facing away from us, as that could end poorly. There's our chamois. He's still not giving us a good shot, unfortunately. He's still uh, angled away from us. I typically don't like taking quartering shots in pretty much any hunting game, as most of the time they don't end well. And I especially don't want to do that on a 5-star chamois. But uh, provided it turns just a little bit, and of course it's going to go into the trees, but if it had turned just a tiny bit more to the left, I think we could have taken that shot, but unfortunately it just didn't do that and instead walked away into the trees. We also have a four-star mature in the same area. Definitely some crazy potential with these herds. I could totally see us coming back here for another video and having that guy be a five-star as well. And maybe if we hunt long enough today, we can even get it to be a five-star in this video which would be uh, pretty crazy getting two five stars from the same herd given at different times, but hopefully still in the same day if we can uh, just wait long enough for that thing to grow. There it is. That is our chamois right there in the middle. Let's get lined up on it. This is our first opportunity to actually take a good shot. So I think we should go for it. And that is a big chamois down. Let's hope that we shot the correct one. You never know when the uh, spotting might be showing it for a different one instead of the one that you're looking at. So just want to make sure that we did get the correct one. I think we did though. I think we did get our five star. Yeah, we definitely did. That was the five star that we shot. That is awesome. So let's wait for it to die and then we will head over and grab it. It feels so nice to finally have taken down a five star chamois as we spent a lot of time in the public land trying to get a good one, but never could. And now that we've got the private land of the Adonk Expanse unlocked, we found our very first five star. And in fact, it was the very first chamois that we saw on uh, this hunting trip. So that's really awesome. But there it is. That is a five star chamois. And man, that thing looks old. 
you can definitely tell that it's uh, very, very far into its uh, aging process and was probably about ready to die just based on the uh, look of this thing. But let's go ahead and grab it and uh, see what the damage is like. So we did manage to get double lung, liver, a little bit of damage to the bone and flesh as well. And uh, yeah, we actually were within the recommended energy, so that's nice. It's uh, great to see that the 308 it can do good on them even up close and get full on uh, recommended energy. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the overview and see just how good this was. 98% genetics on a 5 star. I'm curious. What is the trophy rating going to be like? 496. Oh my gosh, that is huge. So this is probably about as big as this guy could have got, which is great to see. I'm so happy we found this. This was a trophy that I didn't think we would get for a long, long time. Especially since uh, I haven't been hunting on Transylvania as much as the other map, but we actually got this relatively soon. At least in comparison to some of the other trophies that we've uh, chased after in this game. Uh, to this day, I still do not have a 5-star Bighorn Sheep, and I've been looking for them for so long. But uh, the chamois we spent a little bit of time on, not even 5 or 6 hours probably, between all the videos we've made on them. And we finally got our 5-star. That is really cool. I'm glad it didn't take a, a ton of time, but hopefully we can find something else cool during this hunting trip. But let's go ahead and tax this guy. And you know, while we're on the topic of uh, getting five-star animals pretty quickly, uh, what is your, what is everybody's opinion on the current state of the five-star trophies in Way of the Hunter? Do you guys think it's too easy to get them? Do you think it's in a good state? Do you think it's too hard to get them? Because I've seen different opinions from pretty much everybody, and I'd really like to know what the general consensus is on the five-star trophies in Way of the Hunter. I personally think they're a little bit too easy to get and maybe could use a little bit of changes when it comes to uh, how easy it is to get an animal to grow to that age where they can reach 5 star. I do think that they reach 5 star a little bit too often and I think it should be harder to get high genetics animals. But let me know what you guys think. That's just my opinion. I'm only one person and I'd really like to know what all of you combined uh, think the general uh, consensus is on what should be changed with the five stars or if they're perfect the way they are. Well, we have found some feeding chamois that are actually a decent distance away from the water. I thought it was still their drink time, but I guess it just ended, so they've started to move away from the water. And, uh, we did manage to find a few in here that are males. Are you kidding me? There's another five star. <laughs> oh, this day just couldn't get any better. This has gone from a video that was just intended to be a search to find some good four stars to watch grow to be a five star and maybe if we're lucky find a five star but I didn't expect to be looking at a second five star within literally 25 minutes of starting this recording. This is insane. This area is so good. The Adonk Expanse is uh, probably going to be my new favorite chamois hunting location. Because this is just absurd. We also have a three and a four star in here. Let's uh, take a look at that one. Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. This is just absurdly good. And honestly, the one behind it kind of looks like a five star as well. I could be wrong. It looks like that one is just a one star adult actually, which is kind of crazy that it looks almost just as big, if not bigger than the five star. So that one's probably going to have some good potential for the future. But uh, we're more interested in the five star right here as of now. So let's get lined up on it. See if we can get a shot sunk right in there. And just like that, we have dropped it on the spot. This has been the luckiest chamois hunt that I've gone on. You know, we had a lot of fun with the long range chamois hunting, but I don't think anything is going to be able to top this. Finding two five stars within 25 minutes of each other. Well, actually, to be honest, we found two five stars within 10 minutes of each other because it took me quite a while to even walk to this location. There he is, the second of our five star chamois. I'm gonna hope that this one actually scores a little bit lower than the other one because uh, I would like two that are slightly different looking in our trophy lodge. So I'm hoping that this one will be a little bit different, but uh, let's go ahead and take a screenshot next to it as I would like to get a little bit of a trophy shot. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and claim this thing. Let's see how much it will score. Like I said, I'm hoping for it to be a little bit smaller than the other one, just so they look a bit different in the lodge. And this one is 85% genetics. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a lower scoring one, I imagine. Yeah, 467. So this was just barely into the five star range. And I think that was just barely good enough genetics to even make five stars. So once again, this guy was probably right at the end of his life about to die. And we managed to find him at the perfect time. A lot of good luck for us today. Lots and lots of good luck where I imagine if we had gone a few hours without seeing these things, good chance they could have passed away. So that would have been very unfortunate, but we got lucky enough to actually come across both of them and get both of them down for our trophy lodge. So that is really awesome. And uh, let's continue the hunt and see if we can make this even more insane than it already is. We have some chamois just chilling out here a little bit uh, further away than what this herd was. I think... There is one in this group that looks like it might be decent. I'm going to assume it's probably a four star, but with how today's hunt has gone, it wouldn't surprise me if it is a five star. We have just been so incredibly lucky. However, them walking away like this is not very lucky, so we will have to move in a bit closer and uh, see if maybe we can get a good view on all of them and see if there's any more five stars. Well, it seems so far there is a three star in the group, but I don't know if there's going to be anything bigger. They're still kind of hidden in the trees, so it's difficult to get a good view on all of them. But at least one of them is a three star mature, and I saw at least two females as well. That leaves like maybe two left that we can spot and see if maybe they will be a four star or a five star. But uh, as of now, it's not looking like anything too giant is in this group. Well, we've got a one star adult as well. Uh, once again, nothing crazy, though. We might end up just passing up all of the ones in this group uh, as to not risk ruining any of the genetics. There is a two-star mature. You know, we might end up taking that two-star mature. Though I have had some two-star matures that had good genetics, so even at a two-star mature, it's quite the toss-up. Unless you kind of know how to determine the age based on the look of the fur and the horns, but... I'm not super good at that with the chamois, so I'm probably just going to pass that two-star up just in case it's a two-star that is just barely into that two-star range. Oh, there is a four-star mature, so there was definitely a couple that we missed, but it seems like four-star mature is the biggest one there, so there is a two, a three, and a four-star, as well as a couple one-star adults. That's another group that we're going to have to keep tabs on over time, and See if any of them grow up to be giants. I definitely think they could based off of the amount of four stars that we're seeing and the uh, two five stars that we already took. Wouldn't be surprised if one of those grows to be a five star. So I'm just going to leave all of them and we will uh, see what they become in the future as we attempt to get up the impossible mountains. Wow. Okay. All right, Way of the Hunter, I see how it is. I, I see how this is going to be. Right as I get to the campsite, I end up launching off of a rock because the slopes don't allow me to uh, go down it normally. Well, that's just... Uh, we're doing great today. We're doing great today. It's almost like the, uh, the game is just uh, not really liking me right now. But you know what? It is what it is. I'm probably going to go try and find a way to get back there quickly, which I don't really think there is a quick way. But um, I think that's probably going to be it for uh, this video. We're going to go ahead and change the diorama to one with chamois and uh, place it up here. Ooh, that would actually be a pretty cool one. But I think we're going to go with the uh, four chamois standing and lying. I think that's going to be the way to go. And it's 850 to tax each of them. But it'll be worth it, I feel, so let's just see what we can uh, place in each of these spots. What it's going to uh, look like. I believe it's two males and two females. You know, honestly, now that I know that, we might go with the uh, Grey Wolf one, or possibly the two Mouflon and two Chamois. In fact, this is probably the way to go. I imagine this will be two males of each, probably. Yeah, it's two males of each, so we'll do this one. This is probably going to be the best looking as well. Let's uh, get both of them taxidermized. This is uh, not going to be cheap, but it will definitely be worth it. So there is our beautiful chamois up in the lodge finally. And uh, looking beautiful. Absolutely love the way the chamois are in this game. 
probably the best depiction of chamois that I've seen in any hunting game of recent and they are just a ton of fun to hunt and we definitely got some good ones today with our very first five star trophy chamois and then our second one very shortly after it. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment down below. And like I said, let me know what you guys think the current state of five stars is and uh, if you think they should make some changes to it. And also let me know what your most uh, excited and also let me know what your most anticipated future feature is for Way of the Hunter that you guys will just absolutely play the crap out of whenever they drop it. But uh, with that being said, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.